Here's how to get Fabric 1.21.8 to get some mods in Minecraft 1.21.8. Let's go! Okay, so the first step to install Fabric is to click the second link in the description, which is going to put you in this quick article that teaches you what I'm about to teach you in this video in case I speak too fast. But if you want to go straight to the point, just come down to step one and press on the Fabric button. That is going to redirect you to the Fabric page where we're going to press Download Universal Jar and the download for the Fabric installer will begin right away. And I want you to go ahead and place that Fabric installer in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, now, once you have the fabric installed in your desktop, you're kind of ready to begin. First, make sure you have played Minecraft 1.21.8 at least once on your PC, and then go ahead and close out from the Minecraft game as well as the Minecraft launcher. Once you close the game, just double click on the fabric installer and it should open just like this one in here. And if it didn't open like mine right here, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that in just a second. But if it did open though, just select 1.21.8 and hit install. And like I was saying earlier, if it doesn't open, just make sure that you do have Java 21. This is a requirement when modding Minecraft 1.21.8. And I'll leave you this article in the description that goes over how to install Java 21 in case you weren't able to open the fabric installer perhaps it opened as a web browser or a text document or something like that so you will need java 21 super easy to install and once you install it you'll be able to finish installing fabric loader now once the fabric loader finishes installing it's going to let you know right here and if you do read through it you will see that it says that most mods or many mods also require the fabric api so in this video i'm going to teach you how to get the fabric api which is extremely easy and like i said most mods will actually need the fabric api to work with fabric now let's go ahead and hit okay in here close the installer and you could even delete the installer because you don't need it anymore. Now it's time to install or to download the Fabric installer. Head over to the description of this video and you'll find a link called Fabric API, probably the third link in the description, and that'll put you in this page. Once you click in there, I want you to select game version and select 1.21.8, okay? Of course, that's the Fabric we're installing. Once you see it in here, go ahead and hit download, and then the download for the Fabric API will begin right away. Now this is the moment that you also want to use to download any mod that you want. In this video, I'm going to be using the Cyrus Minimap mod, but if you have any other mod that you want to download, this is the moment to do so. There's multiple pages to download mods from. You have Mod Rinth, you have Curse Force. Just make sure you download mods from a safe source or a safe site when installing mods for Fabric. Now, once you downloaded the Fabric API, go ahead and place it in your desktop. Again, you can find that in your recent download history or your downloads folder. And then any other mod that you downloaded, you could also place it in your desktop. Now it's time to add the mods to Fabric and here's how to do it. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And of course, while the Minecraft launcher opens, if you want to support the channel and have an amazing server yourself, click on the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting. You know, Apex Hosting has been helping us out for a long time not only me but minecraft players if you need a server that supports over 200 mod packs a server where you can install fabric mods and the fabric loader well apex hosting is the best service out there and the first link in the description gets you 25 percent off for a limited time deal i don't know how long this is gonna last so if you want a server this is the moment to do it now back in the minecraft launcher as you can see it already opened and since we install fabric it's going to be selected here automatically if that's not the case for you don't worry because you're still gonna have to head over to installations if you want to add mods so head over to installations right here and make sure you have modded selected you might see modded right here on the top right just go ahead and select it and then fabric will show up if it doesn't show up just click on new installation and then add fabric as an instance when creating that new installation now once you have fabric in here you want to go ahead and hover the open installations folder and that's how we're going to add mods so go ahead and click on this open folder icon right here that is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files but don't be scared you're just looking for a folder called mods my mods folder is right here but maybe you don't have a mods folder and i'm actually going to delete mine to teach you what to do if you don't have a mods folder right here all you have to do is go ahead and head over to new press folder and then just name this folder mods m-o-d-s make sure it's called mods and that's it you could go ahead and open the mods folder and in here we're going to add any mods that we have as well as the fabric api just go ahead and drag and drop them from your desktop if you place them there like i did and like i said earlier make sure that every mod that you add in here is downloaded from a safe site as well make sure they are fabric and 1.21.8 and compatible within each other some mods have certain dependencies like most fabric mods will have fabric api as a dependency so it is good that we already downloaded it now once you added the mods in here close this folder head back into the minecraft launcher and now we could play on fabric to start enjoying the game with mods if you get this prompt in here read through it if you agree click understand and then hit play one more time now once minecraft opens we know that we're in fabric because it literally says it down here but let's go ahead and test the mod that we added and we added the Cyrus minimap so we should have a minimap in the game if you added some other mods you should see those mods working when you load into the game as you can see my Cyrus minimap is working right now it's loading on the top right that's why it's all dark but there we go it just loaded and it is working we could play around using our Cyrus minimap meaning that fabric was installed successfully if you were following along and you installed the Cyrus minimap as i did you could just press y on your keyboard and you'll be able to customize Cyrus however you want. But there you guys have it. How to install Fabric as well as Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.21.8. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.